Yohweb Ben Yohweb was the adopted name of Halon Mitchell, Jr., founder and leader of the Nation of Yohweb, a black supremacist new religious movement founded in 1979. Born into a family affiliated with the Antioch Church of God in Christ in Enid, Oklahoma, his father, Rev. Dr. Halon Mitchell Esser was the minister and his mother, Dr. Pearl Mitchell was the pianist. In 1991, Mitchell was convicted of conspiring to murder white people as an initiation rite to his cult, as well as former members who disagreed with him, in one case by decapitation. He was released on parole in 2001 on the condition of not reconnecting with his old congregation. He died of prostate cancer in 2007. Leader of Nation of Yahweh, the Nation of Yahweh set up its headquarters in Liberty City, Florida in 1979. Mitchell emphasized that God and all the prophets of the Bible were black and blacks would gain the knowledge of their true history through him. He also emphasized whites and particularly Jews as infidels and oppressors. Lastly, he emphasized loyalty to himself as the son of God YHWH. He became the living messiah of the nation of Yahweh. At the time, his business and charity efforts earned him respect in the community. The mayor of Miami Florida declared on October 7, 1990, Yahweh Ben Yahweh Day, a month before his indictment for alleged crimes. Crimes and aftermath, although his followers remained devoted to him, by the 1990s, he was in trouble with the law. From 1990 until his release on September 26, 2001, he served 11 years of an 18-year sentence on a Racketeer-Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act conviction after he and several other Nation of Yahweh members were convicted of conspiracy in more than a dozen murders. Robert Rosier, former NFL player and devotee of Mitchell, confessed to seven murders. The indictment charged 18 specific instances of racketeering, including 14 killings, two attempted killings, extortion and arson. He was acquitted of first-degree murder charges in 1992. Mitchell was released on parole in 2001, and returned to Miami, but his activities were strongly restricted until a few months before his death. He was prohibited from reconnecting with his old congregation. To assure this, he was restricted from any form of speech by telephone, computer, radio or television that could place him in contact with any congregational members. In 2006, as he became increasingly ill with prostate cancer, his attorney, Jane Weintraub, petitioned the U.S. District Court for his release from parole to permit him to die with dignity. A ruling on a failed appeal, U.S. v. Yahweh Ben Yahweh starts. Violent crime cases are the exception in federal courts. The instant case is arguably the most violent case ever tried in a federal court. The indictment charges the 16 defendants on trial with 14 murders by means such as beheading, stabbing, occasionally by pistol shots, plus severing of body parts such as ears to prove the worthiness of the killer. They were also charged with arson of a slumbering neighborhood using Molotov cocktails. The perpetrators were ordered to wait outside the innocent victims' homes wearing ski masks and brandishing machetes to deter the victims from fleeing the flames. However, his lawyer's a Euro unregistered trademark attempt to end the conditions for his parole eventually succeeded. Yahweh Ben Yahweh only faced conviction for conspiracy to murder. A primary component of the prosecution's case was the testimony of Robert Rosier, a former NFL player and Yahweh Ben Yahweh follower, who admitted to several of the murders and testified in return for a lighter sentence. Rosier would later enter the witness protection program but would return to prison after being given a 25 years to life sentence under California's three strikes law, following a check kitting conviction. He had the Federal Bureau of Prisons ID number 22031-034. Yahweh Ben Yahweh died May 7, 2007 from prostate cancer. Television the story of the police investigation and prosecution of Yahweh Ben Yahweh is the subject of an episode of the FBI files entitled Temple of Fear. Family His younger sister Leona Mitchell is a noted soprano who sang at the Metropolitan Opera. See also, Robert Rosier, murderer associated with Yahweh Ben Yahweh's organization, Black Hebrew Israelites, Zebra Murders, List of People Who Have Claimed to Be Jesus, Nation of Islam. References, Douglas Martin. 
Yahweh Ben Yahweh, leader of separatist sect, dies at 71 inches. New York Times. Retrieved October 22, 2009. Walsh, Anthony. African Americans and Serial Killing in the Media, The Myth and the Reality. Homicide Studies Vol. 9 No. 4, November 2005 271-291 DOI. 10.1177-1088767905280080, Cult Leader Link to Beheadings Asks to Die with Dignity, CNN.com, October 6, 2006, Miami, Florida. Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Federal Bureau of Prisons. Retrieved on May 24, 2010. Temple of Love Black Supremacist Cult Leader Yahweh Ben Yahweh dies at 71 inches. Fox News. May 8, 2007. Retrieved June 11, 2009. New York Times a bit, LA Times. External links, Crime Library Nation of Yahweh Profile, Apologetics Index Nation of Yahweh Profile, Religious Movement Site, Official Yahweh Ben Yahweh Han Nation of Yahweh Site, Article about Yahweh Ha Euro Unregistered Trademark S Death. Yahweh Ben Yahweh Cult History at TOU TV, Nation of Yahweh.